the judge sentenced him to a total of two years plus 60 days in prison, but she's- Hey there, fight fans, and welcome to the latest edition of Below the Belt Boxing. On tonight's card, why did Javante Davis go to prison over his recent crimes, including a hit and run on a pregnant mother? Davis did not appear happy with that sentence. Also, the civil- Boxing's newest bad boy and self-proclaimed face of the sport, Javante Davis, also known by boxing fans as Tank, is a professional boxer from the crime-ridden area of Baltimore, Maryland. In the ring, as a professional boxer, Tank is known for his explosive power and impressive knockout ratio, and his aggressive style and ability to deliver devastating punches. However, outside the ring, Davis is also known for his aggressive style and ability to deliver devastating punches. In recent years, he has faced some legal issues and controversies. These include instances of legal trouble related to assault charges and traffic violations. Some new developments about Baltimore native and boxing champ Gervonta Tank Davis. He's back in police custody tonight, less than a month after he was ordered to serve three months of home detention. Recently, he faced a staggering 14 charges after being accused of fleeing the scene of an incident that involved multiple people, including a pregnant mother. Tank was looking at a lengthy jail time, up to seven years in prison if charged. The incident occurred in November 2020, just days after Tank secured an impressive knockout win over Leo Santa Cruz. It was alleged that the fighter was driving a Lamborghini Urus SUV at around 2 a.m. when he ran a red light and struck the saloon-shaped Toyota Solara. Four people were injured and taken to the hospital for treatment as a result. In March 2021, Tank was charged with 14 counts of various traffic violations in relation to the hit and run. Almost two years on, in February 2023, he accepted a plea deal in which he pled guilty to four of these traffic offenses with sentencing to be decided by a judge. It has called for widespread discussions on why Tank didn't stop at the scene of the crime, with boxing fans asking if he was over the limit on alcohol or if he was undertaking something that he shouldn't have been doing. Either way, something must have been up to not stop at the scene of a crime where a pregnant woman was injured. Previously in September 2022, Davis accepted a different plea deal over the charges that would have also seen him avoid jail time, but it was rejected by a judge after one of the victims, the pregnant mother, Jair Smith, made an impassioned speech at the hearing. This deal would have seen him instead receive a one-year suspended sentence with two months of home confinement and work release. Smith explained that she was pregnant when the incident happened and told of how she looked Davis in the eyes and asked him for help before he fled the scene. She said she was left with a serious knee injury, which she still is struggling with to this day, and also had to undergo gallbladder surgery following the incident. I begged Mr. Javante Davis. I looked him in his eyes, Smith recalled. I said, I have to get home to my daughter. I'm pregnant. He never once came over to help me. He got his things and left. Smith's attorney, Gil Amaral, added, she wants the court to know that she won't be satisfied with anything other than a period of incarceration in order to make sure this person gets the message. It was revealed in that hearing that Davis had reached civil settlements with three of the four victims from that crash, but not with Smith, who still has a pending civil lawsuit against him. After accepting his revised plea deal, some believed that Davis appeared likely to be sentenced to jail time. The 28-year-old American lightweight boxing superstar had been sentenced to 90 days of detention, three years probation, plus 200 hours of community service after he pled guilty to four traffic offenses in a plea deal. He's back in police custody tonight, less than a month after he was ordered to serve three months of home detention. According to our media partner, the Baltimore Banner, Davis was taken into custody after an impromptu hearing and will now finish his three-month sentence in jail. WJZ is working to confirm why his sentencing has now been changed. Last month, Davis was sentenced in a 2020 hit-and-run crash that injured four people. Javante Davis remains an exciting and talented boxer in the sport with a dedicated fan base. His life story showcases his journey from a challenging upbringing to becoming a world-class athlete in professional boxing. Davis had a troubled childhood growing up in a rough neighborhood and facing various challenges. He turned to boxing as an outlet and quickly displayed natural talent in the sport. 
I'm sure Tank wishes to put the life of crime behind him. We pay homage to all of the boxers on this channel. If Tank decides to go on the straight and narrow and focus solely on his boxing ability, we will be right behind him. If you've not done so already, give the like button a stiff jab, and if you're a genuine old school boxing fan, consider subscribing. Thank you for tuning in to Below the Belt Boxing, YouTube's newest boxing channel on the rise.